but we're gonna put the treat right here. So we're gonna put our fingers together, put the treat right where they meet. Cause that way I can have a nice flat hand. I can do sit, I can do stay, I can tell them free. Okay, and so I'm, I'm putting my thumb right on that treat there and it holds it nicely. Plus, I'm not, I don't have it like this where he can kind of get my fingers. So if I keep it like that, I want to give him the treat, I just take my thumb off. Super easy, your fingers are out of the way. I know you're, okay. So if he's standing, okay. I'm gonna take that and just pull it up. Usually to look at it, they will sit back. Let me give him that, hey Hank. Okay, so my palm is up. Come over here, buddy. Okay. Sit. Good boy. So if he didn't know how to sit, I wouldn't tell him sit until his butt is doing it. So him like that. Lift up. Sit. Boy. When he understands that this is going to mean sit, then I can tell him ahead of time. So if he knows sit, which he does, sit. Good boy. Give him that. Here. Let's try that again. So I'm going to say sit first, and then I'm going to do my hand. Sit. Good. Okay, so then I can do it either way. So at first they learn the hand signal and then the word, and then they learn, they start to preemptively know what you're doing. As soon as you, you um, get your hand going, they start to understand, oh, you want that, you want me to sit. So at that point, you could say sit ahead of time, and then if he doesn't do it, then we can do our hand signal. And then you can do it either way. You do the hand signal first, or you can do the word first and then help him if he doesn't understand that that's the word.